are passed down. A lot of the trauma and a lot of the illness and the disease and the mental distress from slavery, they are literally passed down the opposite. Whether you believe it to be the case or not, just like we, a lot of us don't call ourselves crazy or sick or, you know, even recognize the damage that we not only endure, but that we reflect and we promote and constitute, you know, so it's, it's deep and whether you know it or not, you, you, you knowing that slavery happened and we accepting that as a, a fact should be proof enough. Because it's, it's it's math. It's like one plus one equals two. I mean, but there's a lot of modern day things that are going on right now to this day in 2020 that you can compare to slavery. For example, okay, clearly, well, I don't have to say clearly, but we've all heard the prison systems compared to today to slavery. I've heard um, professional sports compared to slavery because you have drafts, you have trades, you have this, you have that. And a lot of the time, then people don't have I don't want to say a say so because they can choose to speak up on whether they choose to go to a team or not, but then make the wrong move and then that's the rest of your career. So not really. Hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of different places. Shit in your mind. You were slave to a lot of different impulses, different thoughts, and different things that are being pumped to you that you don't even realize or acknowledge. A lot of the goddamn thoughts and feelings and shit. That's what was so difficult about this situation. Excuse me, not difficult, but that was just a part of the process of sourcing out, you know. And what's wrong with everything? What is your? Oh, sorry. You good? What is your thought? What is what is really your thought? What is really your feelings? What's really you know how you feel and what's being shown to you and given to you for you to feel a certain way.